This is Gunung Lhasa National Park, the only place in the world where orangutans, elephants, tigers and rhinos are all found. As you can see, large areas of the forest have been cut down. This was done by a company which illegally used the land to grow oil palm trees to produce palm oil. As this land is protected by law as a national park, and because it is such an important area for orangutans and other wildlife, we've cut down all the oil palm trees and are replanting the forest. The local people are helping us because they understand that the rainforest is very important in their daily lives, providing clean water, drought and flood control, and climate regulation. When the forest was destroyed, the local people found that the land dried up for many miles around the new plantation, and it was difficult to find enough water to drink, cook and wash with, and to water their crops. Hello, my name is Ari. I am is a uh, manager to restoration project in Gunung Lesun National Park in District Saibetung. This is our project and this is our shelter. We live uh, in the forest with the wildlife here, with the elephant, tiger, wild pig, monkeys and everything. Here is a short guide about how to replant a rainforest. First, we must select which species of tree to plant. They must be found in the national park be resistant to fire, drought and flooding. They must also be fast-growing species. We like to plant trees that produce fruits within two to three years to help attract wildlife and birds back to the area. Uh, this is our nursery in, the, uh, in this area. We have uh, two nursery for this site. And this is the young, the young trees, the baby trees and we we pull out from the tree and you can make a little hole. You can use your hand, your finger, and then in the middle, and you can press a little bit. Easy, everybody can do it this, very easy. And you can try in, in your home. Each hectare is planted with 1,100 seedlings of between 20 and 30 different species. Firstly, we plant fast-growing or pioneer species in order to regrow the rainforest canopy. This is a vital aspect of rainforest ecology. The canopy provides shade for growing trees and fallen leaves provide richer soil for the plants to take root. It is only with these conditions that seedlings can overtake the otherwise dominant grasses growing in the degraded area. Today we, we want to uh, planting trees and this uh, four o'clock and this is the best time for uh, planting time and first time you must put the topsoil in the hole you make soft and flat and then slowly slowly you must open the, the plastic bag like this and then you cover with soil And press like this, make flat, and don't forget to give keep moisture, moss, moss for hold the uh, like a sunblock. Yeah, they hold the sunlight, and after the uh, decomposition, and to be like a compost and give many nutrition for survive. We also measure rainfall temperature and humidity every day so that we can see how the local climate is changing and work out the best times to plant more trees. It takes at least two to four years of maintenance on areas that have been planted in order to give the trees the best chance of surviving. Fortunately, once this occurs and we have helped restore the microclimate needed for the rainforest to grow, the work is largely done by the trees themselves. One of the most important aspects of any restoration program must be in reaching this point where nature can take over. <laughs> 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 
Some animals, including orangutans and elephants, are called gardeners of the forest. They are very important parts of the rainforest ecosystem, thanks to the role they play in seed dispersal and forest regeneration. When an orangutan or elephant eats food from the forest, they then disperse the seeds in their dung, which also acts as a handy packet of fertiliser. Orangutans also break branches when they build a new nest each night, and the next day this allows light to reach the forest floor, helping young seedlings to grow. Birds are helping us to replant the forest too. We have found many new species of trees growing where we didn't plant them. We think that the seeds were deposited by birds in their droppings when they came to perch on a tree in our restoration sites. Because we want to encourage more birds to come, bringing new seeds with them, we now use bird perches. We have already planted over a million tree seedlings, but we want to plant many, many more. Wildlife is starting to return to the area, including orangutans and elephants so it's very important that we restore as much of the forest for them to live in as we can. Three years ago, in this site, just grass. Nothing plants, nothing trees. Just all the grass. But after three years, we restored, we planted trees and forest. We get new forest in here. And now the wildlife get a new home for them. Of course, it takes a very long time for a rainforest to grow back. But if we continue to take good care of the trees we've planted, one day this land will once again be lush rainforest, full of life and providing a home to orangutans and many other species. With your help, there is hope for a brighter future for orangutans and their rainforest homes. You really can make a difference.